The final race in the Rally America circuit comes to the Copper Country next weekend. Lake Superior Performance Rally will bring in over 50 rally car teams from around the world to compete to find out who has the fastest driver and for bragging rights. But how does an event of this caliber come together? TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely spoke with race organizers to find out how they make the rubber meet the road. Adrenaline junkies from far and wide will travel to the Upper Peninsula next week to test their skills behind the wheel. But what is an exciting weekend for racers and spectators takes a team of just nine people an entire year to organize. LSPR rally chair Sue Martens has been in it for 20 years and says the team works up to the very last minute of race week. This is more fun than I know what to do with. This, it's crazy, it's insane, but if something happens to one member of this massive rally family, everybody comes together and helps out. Choosing courses is the easy part. The team drives around and finds dirt roads with twists, turns, and hills. Then comes the harder part, mapping out all six race courses, establishing spectator viewing points, making sure there are emergency personnel on each course, and even organizing meals for all the race crews. And nearly 300 volunteers are needed to make the event run smoothly, helping keep time for racers and assisting in crowd control. Letting them know where they can stand, where they should back away from and just kind of keep an eye on everybody and make sure nobody's trying to cross the road between cars and that type of thing. And as soon as it's over, they start planning for next year. But it's the community base that makes it go. It's the property owners that let us run by their houses at 80 miles an hour. And it's the volunteers, most importantly. LSPR hits the road Friday the 17th in Houghton and wraps up that Saturday evening. Sarah Blakely, TV6 News, Houghton.